Well, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office and its new metro unit have a goal to make the streets of Albuquerque safer and downtown is on their list of places to patrol. Julian Paras is in the area speaking with businesses about this new move. Julian. <laughs> That's right, Sasha. So earlier this week, we heard from Sheriff John Allen, the city and others talking about this being a key to stopping crime from happening while also enhancing public safety. And also, so Mayor Tim Keller asked Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office for help. He says that he's concerned about areas across Albuquerque he believes needs more eyes. That includes here in downtown Albuquerque. But as the weekend continues, businesses who spoke with us here in downtown aren't sure how much more impact it can really make. They already have like all the police cars all up and down the road during downtown. They're parked everywhere and now they're doing like the whole horses walking around thing. It's just like intimidation tactic. I don't think it's actually helping. I think it's actually helping. Last weekend in Southeast Albuquerque, the unit's efforts did lead to 12 arrests. Nine of them included felonies being issued for people with guns and drugs. And a spokesperson for the city of Albuquerque says youth crime is on the rise downtown, which is part of the reason they are working with BCSO to help prevent crime in the area. The Metro Patrol unit will be focusing on uh, areas across Bernalillo County, but on the weekends we'll be focusing on downtown Albuquerque. Live in Albuquerque, Julian Paras, KWT Action 7 News. Julian, thank you. The Metro unit will not have responsibility to respond to calls within the city that will be in the hands of Albuquerque police.